It was a really big chance to take, I know, but you know when you know you want something and you know you, you, just, you just have this, this feeling that this is for you and Flory was for me. Sun is out, time passes by, keep him calm, no need to run, can't be so warm with you, now the days are ours. Used to dream, travel in blue skies No heavy bikes and no more lies The world from now on will be ours Before I came to the studio, I was working from home. So I was, my, my, um, my work was being purchased by people online. Uh, it went everywhere. It was so thrilling when you would get an order from Japan. Flory uh, was crane lifted into my house. Our kitchen table moved down and Flory had pride of place in the kitchen. And I had to learn how to use her. What I love most about being here is coming in that door inking up flurry and going uh, thinking to myself i can make a living working with flurry and flurry is nearly 150 years old i think this is fascinating this is amazing i love the sound that flurry makes and um so I, that that's one thing that i love about about what i do now it just has reminded me that uh, my dad uh, one of our dogs passed away and uh, this our, it was Sheba, and she was very. She was 12 years in her home, and she she grew. She was a dog that grew up with us. I was only about 12, and uh, my dad uh, wanted to make a stone in, in to to have a little headstone, I suppose. And uh, he he came to me and he said, "There there's a stone there, and I want you to draw on it, I draw Sheba's name, and I want you to to carve it out." And uh, so I was only about that age, but he must have seen that I could do that because he asked me. So I drew Sheba's name on the stone and then together the two of us and he showed me how to, um, to, to carve the name out using a chisel and a hammer. And I, I suppose that's, that's actually Paul now that you're saying it. That is probably where that love for wanting to cut out the, the design came from. Yeah. No need to rush. Time is on our side 